stolen on a traffic light can be pretty embarrassing. We all have been there at some point, and it is not the best feeling at the world. In this video, let's see how we can easily avoid stalling our bike when starting uphill or simply starting at the traffic light. Never stall our bike ever again! Which I mean quite literally, by the way. If you do what I show you today, you'll almost certainly will not stall your bike pretty much ever. Also, the stuff which we'll discuss today is pretty important and relevant not only to taking off from a stop, but for a lot of other situations as well, so don't skip it. Let's go! There are two main reasons why we can stall the engine. First one is pretty obvious – our clutch control. If we dump the clutch, or even if we let it go a bit too fast, we can stall our engine. On the other hand, we also can't release it too slow either. For example, if we want to start going uphill from the stop, we can't really release the clutch for too long, because we will start rolling back. So what we can do about it? The answer is the biting point of our clutch at which our bike just starts to go forward without stalling. Let's do a small exercise to get used to the biting point. Start your bike, pull in the clutch and put your bike in first gear. Look far ahead, don't look down on your clutch. Now start releasing the clutch very slowly. At some point, you'll feel that your bike wants to start to creep forward. That's the biting point of your clutch. Try to precisely feel and memorize this point. You'll need it quite often, literally every time you are taken off. Up to this point, the clutch is disengaged, so we can release the clutch as fast as we can up to this clutch biting point. It's past the biting point where we don't want to dump the clutch. If we release the clutch smoothly after the biting point, our bike will gradually accelerate and not stall. That's the first part. But you already probably see the problem. This way we start very slowly. What if we need to take off faster? Obviously, we have to use our throttle. A lot of people like to release the clutch on idle engine speed and only then open throttle. Or open throttle and release the clutch simultaneously. But instead, it would be far better if we give our bike a little throttle just before we start releasing the clutch. It gives our engine necessary power to successfully move our bike from complete stop really fast. As fast as we want. We don't need a lot of throttle here. Usually somewhere around 2 times the idle RPM is enough. This throttle control in combination with clutch control, which we discussed earlier, is a key to taking off confidently every time. If you want to get used to it, you guessed it, there is a special exercise. It's called stop and go exercise. This exercise uses our balance on bike, clutch, throttle and rear brake control. But mostly this exercise is intended to synchronize our throttle, clutch and rear brake operation. We'll start with easier version at first. We put the bike in first gear, add some throttle as we discussed earlier, release the clutch up to the biting point and start slowly releasing it further. Our bike starts to go forward slowly. As soon as our bike gains some little speed, we pull in the clutch a little, apply light pressure on rear brake and bring our bike to a complete stop. At first, you can put your feet down at the stop, but try to stop the bike as vertical as you can and look far ahead the whole time, even when you are at complete stop. Make absolutely sure that you pull the clutch past the engagement point, that your clutch doesn't pull you forward. If you have to really use brake quite hard to stop the bike, you probably don't pull the clutch enough and it still drags you forward. Each time try to stop more vertical and try to put your foot down only after you stopped completely. Don't dangle your feet while your bike is still moving. Remember to keep your arms loose and slightly bent and remember to look far ahead for better sense of balance. Once you get a hang of it, try to make your stops very brief, up to the point when you don't need to put your foot down. Just slow down, stop for a moment and then release the brake and clutch a little and go ahead a few feet. Then repeat. Once again, 
Pay very close attention on how you operate your clutch. Make sure that it is disengaged when you stop. Your rear brake pressure should be very gentle. If you have to brake hard, you are not pulling the clutch enough. Keep your arms loose and slightly bent. Look far ahead even at complete stop. Don't look down. After you master this exercise, you almost certainly won't stall your bike ever again. If you found this video useful, check out my new beginner rider video course in the description. And check out the new training routine course, which is designed to significantly boost your confidence and riding abilities. And as usual, like, share and subscribe. I appreciate it very much. Thank you for watching and have a great day. Bye.